everybody, welcome to Excel Video 421. I'm Nate Moore. Just got back from a site visit to a client where they're really frustrated saying we want this information, we know it's in our system, but the vendor says it's unreportable. We can't get this field out and it's really important to our business plan. Can you help us? And sure enough, with a little digging, now they have a report that references and reports on that unreportable field. When you're frustrated with your PM or your EHR software and you want data that you can't get out of your current reports, I'd love to help you. We're going to play with tables today. If you haven't seen tables, Excel video 30 and the videos after that talk a bunch more about tables. As we talk about how to reference cells in VBA and in macros, I want to spend just a video on how to reference tables. So if I have this table here, what I can do if I do Alt F11 and bring up my Visual Basic Editor, the way to reference a table is worksheets. And you'll notice that tables is the name of the worksheet and table one is the name of my table. Tables is the name of my worksheet, and from the design menu, table one is the name of my table. So what I can do is I can say, okay, on the worksheet tables, the list objects is table one. That's the name of my table. Dot table style is the property that's going to allow me to change the color and the, the formatting of this table. Let's run the code, and I'll show you what I mean. What I'm going to do is just highlight this so all we do is run this code, we come back over here, and sure enough, we can change the style of the table with a quick and easy macro. So if you're doing you know, a monthly report or a quarterly report, and you want, you know, December's always this color, or this clinic is always that color, and you need a quick way to change the color, save it as a table, and list objects with the name of the table and table style will let you use one of those predefined styles, and it's a pretty easy code to write. One more thing on tables, while we're here. This is a uh, more powerful and there's a few things going on so let's walk through it. The first one's easy. This note underscore continues the code on the next line. This code would go on and on and on so what I did is at the end of it I put this underscore character which tells Excel hey there's more code over here don't you know look, look for it on the next line so, and the reason I do that is it just makes it easier to edit. I don't have to scroll and scroll and scroll to see what's on this line I just use the underscore so that's the first trick. Then again, I've got a worksheet called tables, and then this list object, table one, the very same thing we referenced up here. Now what I'm going to use is the dot range property and dot special cells, XL cell type visible. What that means is I want to grab the visible cells from a table. Why would I want to do that? If you go through and filter this thing, so let's say I want all the lag days that are greater than 20. Now I've got this, but notice now I go from row 1 to row 17 to row 25 to row 26 to 34. See, there's a bunch of cells in here, and if I try to copy and paste, I'm going to get everything. I only want to copy the visible cells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to use this dot range dot special cells, XL cell type visible. If you care, what I'm doing is find and select go to special, and then from there, visible cells only. I'm writing code to do this. Then once my code does that, what I want to do is, once I've identified, just give me the visible cells, I'm going to copy them, and the destination, the place I want to paste is, the worksheet's called visible cells. So I'm going to put the visible cells from this table onto a new worksheet called visible cells, and start it in range A1. That said, Let's run it. So I'm going to come over here, and now what I've got is here's the visible cells in the table that's filtered, and now let's go to the visible cells tab, and sure enough, row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I've only copied and pasted the visible cells. So if you do some kind of analysis and then want to send it out to staff to, okay, here's the claims to analyze, or here's the appeals to do, or here's what to work on next that the special go to special visible cells can help you do that and here's a quick and easy macro to make it happen the other thing I want to note is notice that I've got this dot range here dot range gives me a table that has the header and the data if you just want the data instead of using dot range use dot data body range and you'll just get data, not the headers. Most of the time I want the headers, so it's no big deal to me, but if you ever just wanted the data, that's how to do it. 
clever ways to work with tables and it's again it's another way to reference cells in Visual Basic for Applications. I want to talk about one more way to reference cells with code. We'll do that next time. Thanks for watching.